Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. It's Friday evening, and this is Connie's Craft Along. So, welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh, new computer. Um, <laughs> stuff was going on in the background there, and I think this has just popped up on Facebook. Didn't know it would do that. But there's a few things that I'm learning. <laughs> The good news is that uh, I am on my new laptop, which um, for the most part works better than the old laptop. <laughs> Certainly it's faster, uh, but I'm still getting stuff set up and I'm still learning about uh, what to do and how to do and all the rest of it. And I couldn't get it to connect um, to the audio stuff in Zoom. It said that the speakers and the microphone weren't recognized or something and I did the test and I heard nothing and so so clearly I need to do something there I was on a zoom call last night not one that I hosted but I was participating in a zoom call and I could hear the speakers speaking and I could speak and people could hear me so stuff was working last night <laughs> I don't know anyway to be investigated further so if you are joining me, uh, say hello, let me know that you're here and watching, and uh, we'll get ready to do some crafting this evening. So just watching for comments. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is a little bit dry. i just have a sip of water here. There we go. Hello, Lorna, welcome. I'm glad you're here. We can talk about uh, we can talk about your email a little bit, although I don't necessarily have a whole lot of uh, good info for you. I don't think I should put this on me, shouldn't I? There we go. Oh, join audio to start speaking. I wonder what's going to happen. No, it doesn't recognize it. My audio is a problem. But can you hear me, Lorna? <laughs> I hope you can hear me. I put the audio on on the uh, on my phone so I'm hoping that you can hear me but maybe let me know hey Terry you can hear me oh good <laughs> uh not crafting tonight because Oliver is oh well <laughs> perhaps Oliver could help you with your crafting <laughs> wouldn't that be interesting interesting and fun but yes you can hear me okay um so I have uh the audio on the phone and so I'm glad that that is working at least I'll try and figure out what's up with the audio on the computer another time but uh, anyway it this is the new laptop do I look better do I look new do I know <laughs> yeah okay anyway Lorna as I was going to say um the stampin seal I have not had to re-roll one of these yet um so I don't know how easy it is the um snail adhesive you could re-roll quite easily but I know the fast fuse that used to do uh what yours was doing in that photo that you sent me I could never get it to re-roll properly it would still feed out um so I'm not sure if you'll be able to re-roll it or if you've even tried the case obviously does open it opens in half maybe i'll just switch this i'll put it uh i'll add this add the spotlight so um yeah so the case does open you just kind of pull it apart my wrist has been sore today a new computer yay <laughs> oh yes definitely a learning curve terry <laughs> um yes it's uh it's a mixed blessing Sorry, my wrist has been really sore today and I have no strength in it, it doesn't seem. And I've probably never taken this st stamp. No, I have. This is a refill I have in here. Why won't this come apart? Am I that? <laughs> that weak? Good grief. There's not a trick to this, is there? Terry, help me out here. <laughs> stamp and seal and I can't get it to open. Partly, oh, there we go. It's almost like it's uh, glued together, like it's stamp and sealed together which it is a little bit at the top look at that um i know our fast fuse used to do this too you'd get adhesive on some of the parts of the container so we just need to clean it up so 
uh, as I say, I have not had to rewind one of these, but you'd have to uh, you'd have to play with that and see how it goes. Um, what I used to do with the fast fuse, um, Terry, it, Lorna's uh, stamp and seal is, you know, it's it's got a loop coming out here that is not obviously rolling onto the roll properly. Um, and I don't know about you, but my fast fuse, which I love and I still love, but it, it did tend to do that sometimes too. Um, I haven't ever seen it on the stamp and seal. And as I say, I haven't had that, not yet anyway. Um, but as far as using it, uh, I, I don't really know what to tell you. I have a, a little piece of cardstock here. I probably push more than snail, um, less than fast fuse. I don't know whether you ever use the fast fuse, Lorna. The other thing that I have heard, and let me just grab wherever I have it, uh, just a second. If you have a silicone mat or something, it's silicone, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, it's almost rubbery, but I have heard that if you start off here and then go, it will, it helps it to, um, to roll. I haven't really had a lot of trouble with it rolling. So I, unfortunately I'm not, not entirely certain what to tell you to get it to work. Terry, do you have any any tips? I think I think there is a video on the Stampin' Up website, and I will try to find that for you, Lorna. Um, I think something that they put out when the the stamp and seal was new. Um, Lorna's having trouble getting her stamp and seal to work, so uh, let's let's see what Terry has to say here. Have one that way too, never could get yours to reroll. Okay, still have it in the hopes I can figure it out. Like the kind we had before, but I'm starting to get used to stamp and seal. But finding the stamp and seal plus is better. Actually, I have heard that. Uh, use the silicone craft sheet to help it get started. Yes, so so if you have a silicone mat, um, starting your, uh, you know, starting to roll there and then continuing onto your cardstock, I have heard can be helpful. Um, and, and other than that, to be honest, I think it's just a case of getting used to uh, the pressure, how much you have to apply, how much you have to push. Um, because I know at the beginning, I used to have to um, manually get it started because it wouldn't tear off. Um, it wouldn't tear off properly. And then, you know, you would touch here and it wouldn't be sticky. So then you have to just roll it with your your thumb a little bit, just move it forward until you get back to the sticky stuff. So um, I don't know. Anyway, I will see if I can find any other tips uh, or tricks or anything. Uh, as far as re-rolling it, you may want to just let that that you know piece thread out. I know with my fast fuse, I used to just let it dangle, and when it got really long, I just cut it off. Just leave a leave a bit of a tail so that it doesn't you know, slide up into the container or do something weird that you always have some piece coming out. It is a bother. The other thing you could uh, you could do is give Stampin' Up! a call and let them know that it's not functioning well um, and they may replace it for you. Not sure what they do with those, but uh, anyway, that's unfortunately probably not very helpful but that's that's kind of all I have for now so uh, anyway okay let's uh I'm gonna get rid of me <laughs> uh well not really get rid of me but uh there we go so that you can see the workspace a little bit larger I've got some weird lighting going on tonight too I uh I have a ring light that Steve got me at Christmas time so I thought, oh, I should set that up because I seem like I'm sitting in the dark. Uh, so it's on the desk and I have all this light all over the place, but it's still not on me. I'm still half in the dark. So <laughs> don't make any comments, ladies. I, you know, I know sometimes I'm still in the dark about a few things, but 
anyway, okay, on to the crafting. Let's let's get to something uh, something I know. So you need a card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. Um, a piece of card stock that is five and a half by two. And I said, as uh, as I have indicated other weeks, embossing is optional. I did emboss this. I used the uh, the splatters embossing folder from the stripes and splatters. You can see that. It's kind of, it's one of my new faves. I really like it. It's just really random uh, and adds texture, but I really like it. So there you go. Uh, a piece of cardstock that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. You can always make notes of, of this, Lorna, if you want to do this uh, <laughs> after Oliver goes to bed or maybe another day or something. Although it is on Facebook, isn't it? You don't have to make notes. Um, a piece of designer series paper that is two and a half by two and a half. A shape for the image. I have used one of the tasteful touches die cuts. You can use anything, um, you know, or you could just cut a rectangle or a square or whatever. It depends what what image you've pulled out to put on your card tonight. So, oh good, I'm glad you will craft later. <laughs> so uh, another embossing folder that you need, right, Terry? Yes, I know. Don't you hate how that happens? But it's, you know what, I have found some really great things from watching other demonstrators that um, stitched greenery that uh, I had in a card the other day. I had never really looked at it, sort of passed it right by and it is stunning. I love it. It's not, not an embossing folder, but it's kind of like a background texture thing. Anyway, if you don't have the stitched greenery die, you need that one too. So, you know, get the stripes and splatters embossing folder and uh, get the stitched greenery die. <laughs> Hello, Jeannie, welcome. <laughs> uh, a strip for your sentiment. I'm just using a half inch strip and I haven't cut this yet. I'll cut it after I stamp my sentiment and <clears throat> look, I have extra just in case. <laughs> and then of course the usuals, stamps, ink, adhesive, uh, bone folder, some embellishments, all of that sort of stuff. Okay, so let me get all these little bits out of the way and we can get started. So the first thing you're going to do is stamp your image onto whatever shape you pulled out um, to, for your image. <laughs> and you can go ahead and stamp that. I am using this guy. Look at him. Don't you love this guy? Oh, I think he's so cute. Um, I'm not positive what is, but hey, Terry, you're in Florida. What's this guy? Is is it a pelican or um, anyway, it's some sort of water bird, uh, the ones that you see at the ocean. And uh, I know we have some kind of sort of like this on Georgian Bay. You see them, but uh, anyway, standing on the posts at the pier or at the docks or whatever. And this is from, I do. It is from the Waves of Inspiration stamp set, which is an early release from the new annual catalog that will be out in May. So there's this little guy and there's a bird, there's a great big wave and there's dies that you can use with this. And then some really beautiful uh, sentiments. Happy birthday, always a good one to have, uh, but also your strength is an inspiration. You're so totally awesome, I love it. <laughs> Uh, and our friendship is a thing of beauty. That like just beautiful sentiments. I love them and really nice, uh, nice font on there as well. And then uh, of course I am using one of the pieces of the waves of the ocean designer series paper as well. So lots of beautiful stuff. We looked at this yesterday during lunch break. So hopefully you have had a bit of a peek at it. Alrighty, I'm going to stamp this guy and I'm going to stamp him with Pacific Point. The uh, the designer series paper has Coastal Cabana, Pacific Point, and Night of Navy are the, the main blues in it. There are some other colors, but uh, 
those are the main blues. So for this one, um, oh, it's a pelican. Okay, good. <laughs> I figured it was a pelican. That's sort of the most common one, I think. That's the one we all know. <laughs> anyway, there he is. And you could, um, you can color him. I colored him on some cards that I made with a Stampin' Blend. I don't know. I didn't pull any out for tonight, so maybe I'll just leave him as a line image for tonight. But um, while you have your ink out, you may want to stamp your sentiment as well. I have pulled out the happy birthday from that stamp set. And tonight I will remember to leave some room to cut <laughs> a diagonal end on, on my sentiment because I'm just going to put it on not quite in the middle, not bad, but uh, let's, let's try once more. Since I have lots of cardstock. <laughs> Narrow white strips. How many millions of those do we have around, right? I think that looks better. There we go. That looks good. Okay, I'm just going to clean these guys off so that I don't, I don't forget. I forgot to clean one of my stamps the other day and uh, I did get it clean, but it, it wasn't sure that it wanted to clean at first. I had to, I had to persuade it. So actually try to get these guys cleaned up right away. And then I don't have to worry about forgetting. Good memory, but short, right? Okay, and I am just going to grab my paper snips and I am going to trim this. If depending what you have used for your sentiment, you can um, you can cut some diagonal ends, you could cut banner ends, you can leave it square, whatever you wish. I have a little bit too much on this end, don't I? I'll just give him a little. A little shave. There we go. That will work. Alrighty. Um, and then you can bring in your uh, card base, give him a fold on the score line. This is Coastal Cabana. Then the other color that I have is the Knight of Navy. So there's the three colors from the designer series paper. And uh, I'm just going to stick this on. So you're gonna put your uh, designer series paper square on your cardstock square. There we go. So now we have a card base. We have a square mounted on square. We have a narrow strip. We have an image and we have a sentiment. So now you just put them all on your card. <laughs> and this is where the fun begins. You can put these on here anywhere you like. First, you should try and fold your card base nicely. Didn't get that quite lined up quite right. So I'll just give this a little bit of a squish. There we go, that's better. So you can put your strip on one side, the other side, the middle, to say everything goes wherever you would like it. So I'm just gonna sort of set things down here and start to play and see and decide, and figure out what I want. I could do that there, I almost need to, uh, uh oh, did I get ink on there? Okay. Almost need to sponge those edges, don't I? Just to give it a little definition. A lot of uh, a lot of Pacific Point that maybe should have been Knight of Navy. I'm not sure, but look, I have <laughs> I have more paper, and I had my Knight of Navy ink out. It's somewhere handy. <laughs> or maybe it's somewhere safe. 
Okay, where did you put it? Those are green, the borders. Oh, oh, hiding. Hiding over there. Okay, Knight of Navy. Uh, so again, see if I can get this in the middle. Oh, a little bit dull. Now that we are into March, uh, the savings are in bloom is on. So we talked about that the other day. Just a reminder, there are uh, some awesome deals on a whole bunch of bundles, as well as the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine uh, on sale for 20% off. So that's, that's just a happy deal <laughs> if you're in the market for a, a little, a compact little die cutting machine. It's, uh, it's your go-to. Okay, so let's just see what we think. It's not uh, not coming together. Maybe I need, maybe, so now we start moving things around, <laughs> right? Figure out how it, how it needs to be. Kind of, Kind of did this sort of layout before but i sort of think i like that kind of a layout better i think i'm going to go with that now let's just see if i want the navy or the pacific point now i think you know what i think i like the contrast of something darker okay we're going to go with that it would probably work either way but that's the way we're going so i'm just going to slide these things off and uh I'm gonna, so because this is embossed, I am going to use my liquid glue uh, to adhere it because, oh, yeah, my wrist, I don't, I have, Steve, no idea what I did. It's not, uh, I don't think it's swollen or anything, but I just, as soon as I try to do anything with it, I have no strength in it. I did not fall skiing. <laughs> Hopefully I can swim on Sunday or my synchro coach will not be pleased, but anyway, I don't know what it is. Maybe by tomorrow it will all be fine. So I'm just going to press that down. And then I'm also going to put uh, some of these on with liquid glue because there gets to be, it gets to be a little bit fat with layers, but I still, I want this flat because I'm going to pop up uh, a few of the other things with dimensionals. So, so if you are crafting, you can, uh, you can put your card together any way you like. There's no, no right or wrong. There's no place that any of this stuff should go. Um, I was trying to think where I, I kind of think I I cased this from something I did. I, I, I cased it from a card in the catalog. It is not even remotely like the card in the catalog. Let's see if I can find it. But it's what inspired me, which is what casing the catalog is all about, right? It was in the back here and it was here okay so here's the card let's see if i can get it up a little bit closer for you oh with some light so this is the card that inspired what we're doing so there was a strip of cardstock and then there is some designer series paper over it or something that's been stamped and then there was a strip for the sentiment and that's where that's where all the similarities end. <laughs> so, and when I put my uh, designer series paper down, I thought it needed another layer, which is why um, we had a cardstock layer. And I, you know, I thought I was trying to think, how do I uh, give you a clue to do some die cuts without really telling you what we're doing or you know how it was going to look or something and that became a little bit 
little bit tricky. So I didn't end up doing that. And then uh, the whole thing just kind of morphed into a completely different card, but that's okay. It was that picture that inspired this card. So, you know, everybody, we all get our ideas from somewhere and looking at the catalog uh, is a great place for inspiration. And sometimes, you know, you'll find something and you'll make the card almost exactly the way it is in there. And clearly other times, uh, not so much. <laughs> Go. So I have just popped him up with dimensionals and I'm going to uh, put dimensionals on the back of the sentiment as well. And um, there we go. I haven't used the uh, waves of inspiration a whole lot yet, but it is marvelous. I did make a few cards the other day, and then uh, I have a couple of these. It's not quite straight. It's so hard when you're not looking right at it. There we go. Okay, and then of course, uh, what are these? These are the rhinestone waves basic jewels. And these are divine. <laughs> these are the ones that we were looking at the other day as well. Uh, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana. And then there's other, you know, uh, turquoise blues and greens. This is, so this one almost looks like seaside spray. Because so I don't know that it's balmy blue. It's just a tiny bit, maybe more purple. But anyway, they are beautiful. And so uh, if you want some of these, these will not be in the annual catalog. Um, the stamp and the die set will be, but the uh, foil paper, the designer series paper, and these gorgeous gems are only available until May 2nd. And further, they are only available while supplies last. And uh, you know, there's an awful lot of us that are buying an awful lot of them. So, so there we go. And there's your card. That is your uh, your layout. Those are the pieces that uh, were in the clues. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can change it up. Um, I had. I did another one. And of course, you know, this is just the kicking off point. You can step it up more if you want. You can, uh, you could do, uh, you could make it less complex. You could, you know, not layer your designer series paper. You could just square cut this. You don't have to emboss that. You could make it uh, very, very clean. But here's another one that I made uh, similar. So this one, I had a Knight of Navy strip, uh, the same designer series paper. I used darker gems on this one, but from the same, uh, same package. These are the Knight of Navy. And then I embossed this circle as well. This is also embossed with the splatters. The back is too. The Knight of Navy is also embossed with the splatters. So I've got splatters there and I have the splatters here as well. Uh, and then I die cut the Pelican and mounted them on that circle. So there's another one. And thanks, Jeannie. And then I was, this was the one that I was working on uh, before I ran out of time because I was trying to play with my laptop and get the audio going and everything. But um, so I'm just gonna move these aside and we can finish these. This is, this is from the same strip of the designer series paper, but it's the back and it's Calypso Coral. So there's that. Uh, and then I thought I would do this one landscape just to show you how it could be done landscape. So here is my um, same splatters once again. <laughs> this is granny apple green and this is calypso coral. Uh, this is mossy meadow because I like that with the granny apple. And then I was just about to, 
try and determine where I want everything. I use the wildflower path uh, to stamp these guys. Um, these are just plain stamped. These are not done with the baby wipe technique. We use the baby wipe uh, tech, or we use the stamp set with the baby wipes the other night, but uh, these are just stamped in Calypso Coral and Pale Papaya. And then this is Pale Papaya. And these are the layering diorama dies. <laughs> so just a, a random shape, but I was thinking it was kind of like the, the random shapes in, uh, in the designer series paper. So that was why I had selected that. And did I, I thought, thought perhaps I had stamped a sentiment, but perhaps not. So I maybe didn't get that far. So I'm bringing the uh, Calypso Coral and I will just do this again for happy birthday. You can't have too many, ha too many birthday cards, can you? <laughs> They're always popular and I put them in my, uh, I do a really for life fundraiser in the spring and I sell um, all occasion cards or Christmas cards, but birthday is always popular in the all occasion. Whoops, there we go. So it's okay to have some extra birthday cards around. Hello, Donna, you just ground me. <laughs> I assume you mean found. <laughs> I'm glad you found me and I'm glad that you're here. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit more of an angle and I'll make this one a little bit more of an angle because I seem to have a little bit more than I need here anyway. You know, see, this is how you get bits of paper everywhere. You just keep taking little bits off and then they fly around in your your craft space. So what do we think? It's interesting sitting here on an angle looking at this this way. It's actually easier if I look at my computer screen to see what I think of the layout. So anyway, I think uh, something along those lines may work. What do we think? Let's go for it. I'm going to glue it down. Okay, so again, I will use my liquid glue. <laughs> I would try it this way, but I'm pretty spastic with my, uh, my left hand. See, this is like when you're doing fussy cutting and they say, Move the paper, not the scissors. And when you're gluing with your non-dominant hand, move the paper, not the glue bottle. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I can get this straight while I'm sitting at an angle. I'll use my grid paper as a bit of a guide. Oh. Oh no, I was thinking I was putting it in the wrong place, but it opens, it opens uh, sideways, portrait, no, landscape, this way, there we go. Okay, and some glue for this. Oh, this is the uh, Waves of the Ocean designer series paper, Donna. Um, not sure when you came in or whether you have seen all of this yet, but it is the um, part of the uh, Waves of the Ocean collection, which is uh, some of the early release products. Although the designer series paper and the foil sheets and the gems are only available until May 2nd, they will not. Uh, carry over to the catalog, but the stamp set and the dies will. So, okay, we will pop these guys up on some dimensionals. Where did my dimensionals go? They were here. 
They were here a moment ago. And look, now they're on the floor. Okay, well, you know what? I have more. <laughs> that? No, it's not. Still got paper on it. Here we go. So I don't know about where uh, where some of you ladies are and what your weather's supposed to be like, but it's supposed to go up to like 13 degrees here on Sunday, which is, uh, what's 13? It's probably about 57 or so uh, if you work in uh, Fahrenheit, which is extremely mild for this time of year up here. But uh, anyway, it's supposed to be mild all next week, but only that mild on Sunday. So it'd be interesting. So uh, you just got the paper and gems. Haven't got the stamp and dies yet. Well, you know what? The paper and the gems are, are the ones that are not sticking around, but uh, they are also the ones that are the most stunning. They are... Um, they're stunning. They're beautiful. The, the colors in the paper are so vibrant. And there is a video. Um, you could find it on YouTube, I think. It popped up in my Facebook feed. Uh, but there's a, a behind the scenes on how the artists um, made this paper, playing with the, the paint and the colors and stuff. It's really, it is really kind of neat. And of course, it's all done very quickly. So it, uh, they paint, paint a whole picture in no time's flat. <laughs> okay, so all I had out was the uh, <laughs> the blue waves rhinestones. So that's not really quite right for what we're doing now. So I have grabbed some others and let's see. I didn't grab. Where are, oh, what about these greens? They could work. Okay, look at that. We'll just use some of these. We'll use some of the greens. Let go, okay. I think it'll all kind of, kind of coordinate. Not really sure what, what green this is. It's, it's almost like a, an emerald green. It's very pretty, but I don't know. See, yeah. it's a lovely green. Anyway, the whole pack is just beautiful. So <laughs> couldn't possibly look bad on a card. So there we go. So same thing, but uh, landscape, a little bit different. And that was all I got cut. So if you want to make more, um, Hopefully you had time to cut more supplies. Um, it's it's a fairly quick layout, a little bit different. And you can put different backgrounds and different embossing and all the rest of it. Uh, so what else do we want to see? Uh, for anyone that, uh, I think everyone has seen this paper, but we'll just... We'll just pull it out and have another little gander because holy mackerel, it's so pretty. I should take it right out of the package, shouldn't I? I always think if I take it out, I'll never be able to slide it back in. But look at that. Look, just like, it's just so vivid and vibrant. And now to me, so this is waves of the ocean, but to me, this could also be um like rocks or something i'm not quite sure haven't quite decided what what i might do with that but they are they are certainly beautiful lots of lots and lots of color i think we're into some duplicates oh there's a different one so that's very neat as well lots of this blue and green this is, uh, I believe this is the piece that we are using. Yes, this is the piece that we're using. And those are duplicates as well. And then the flip sides, um, 
have lots of have some different colors. Um, so there's blues and and uh, blues and green tones, but then there's I'm not even sure what that is. What? Okay, one moment. What is the yellow? Uh, Daffodil delight. So that's uh, and this is probably petal pink. I didn't realize was in there. But yes, petal pink. According to the package, it is petal pink, and that's what it looks like. So, um, but some really pretty stuff. This one, uh, this would be awesome. Um, scrapbooking paper, right? So here's your beach sort of colors out in the ocean. You could put all your tropical photos on there from a trip to the sunny south. Sure. <laughs> I did not have a trip to the sunny south, but uh, not this year, but but you could, given that I still haven't done the scrapbook for my honeymoon. It was only three years ago. <laughs> I was waiting waiting to finish my wedding album and I'm still waiting to get some photos from my photographer. I'm not sure it's ever going to happen. Who was that ne negligent photographer you asked? Well, that would be my son who is truly a photographer, but uh, this was just, you know, something for mom. So apparently not quite as much priority, I suppose. But anyway, I should nag him about it again. Isn't that what mothers do? We nag. <laughs> uh, here is the uh, the whole collection for the waves of the ocean. So there is the stamp set and the dies, uh, the designer series paper. There is uh, a foil package. There's six sheets of foil, two of silver, two of Knight of Navy, and two of Coastal Cabana. And it's, uh, it's their foil sheets, so they too are lovely. And then, of course, these beautiful rhinestones. So uh, these three products are only going to be available till May the 2nd and only while supplies last. So if you love them, get some now. Okay. And then, as we mentioned, there is the savings in bloom. Hey, Judy, how are you? Hello from Iowa. Excellent. Um, oh, I'll, I'll move this so you can see the crafting. Hopefully you saw the uh, the pieces. This was the card that uh, I made from the pieces from the Facebook post. And then these two are sort of variations on that theme. But uh, you can certainly you can put your pieces together any way you like and you can change it up and rearrange things. You can do them portrait or landscape. Um, just uh, this was this was the starting point. So um, go ahead and craft up some fun. So and now we're just taking a look at the savings are in bloom. Here is the uh, mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So it uh, this stripes and splatters embossing folder is one of the mini embossing folders. So it would work in this machine as well as a whole bunch of dies. So they have a number of bundles. All of these bundles are on sale for 20% off. So lots and lots of good deals to be had uh, if you are interested in any of them. I keep looking at the seascape bundle. And now that we have the waves of the ocean, I'm thinking the two of them, uh, you could put them together with the diorama. and Oh, lots of ideas. I don't actually own this. So... Uh, there's that one, and there's also Seize the Day. So many fun, fun things. So anyway, there we go. So that is that. Uh, what else do I... Yes, some great deals, Terry. Now is the time to scoop up some savings. And uh, if you are not a demonstrator and you are interested in being a demonstrator, uh, even just to get the best deal you can on a kit. <laughs> this is an awesome time to get a great deal on the starter kit because it is completely customizable and uh, you could put in a bunch of those products that are on sale. You could get yourself a, a die cutting machine and some 
bundles and then you know some paper and some ink depending what you have in your stash already and you could really extend uh, the the starter kit because everything's at a reduced price so there's a good deal as well and you don't have to uh, you don't have to work the business you can uh, just be a happy shopper and enjoy a discount on everything that you purchase you don't even have to purchase but uh, it's whatever you like. It can be absolutely anything that you like and you can build it into a business if that's what you desire or or not. It's all good. Uh, okay, so Monday night, let me just uh, maybe I will I will I will come back. <laughs> well I will I will join us. There we go. I'll add the spotlight so you can still see those cards. Um, see the funky light? See I'm still kind of half in the shadows here. I don't know. I gotta play with some lighting. I don't know what to do, but uh, um, and now I can't see these comments here. Uh, oh, you love the cards tonight! Yay! Thanks, Terry. I'm glad you love them. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I got all distracted. <laughs> Monday night. Um, that's fancy. I was thinking we would play with some more of the waves of the ocean. Uh, bundle because I have not I've used the pelican die that is the only die that I have used so far and I really want to cut out those waves and uh, do something fun with that so perhaps that's what we will do on Monday night so um, we're a little bit early it's hasn't been quite an hour but I have probably blathered on in your ears long enough and uh so do join me Monday night. We will play with the waves of the ocean. We'll play with some more of the designer series paper. I'll pull out the foil and we can do a little bit more with that. And we'll just, uh, we'll do some die cutting and some creating. We'll see what we come up with. So anyway, thank you all for joining me tonight. I hope you like the cards. I hope you give it a try and uh, maybe change it up a little bit. Do whatever you like. I will post these and uh, if you want to add yours in the comments, certainly you are always welcome to do that. So thanks, Donna, glad you glad you found us. And uh, have an awesome weekend, everyone. We will see you on Monday night. Bye for now. <laughs>